Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can enable dark mode in the iOS Facebook app. This will work on any iPhone or iPad that is running iOS 13 or later. And it's really nice for your eyes if you don't like the bright uh, normal color scheme. Um, you can actually turn on the dark mode for your iPhone uh, in all the iPhone apps and I will show you how to do this in Facebook. Now first of all I'll show you how to get the iPhone dark mode because this will work perfectly fine for Messenger. So I'm going to open my settings right here and then um, I'm going to scroll down until I see control center and under the control center I'm going to select customize controls I'm then going to scroll down and you can see that we can add a dark mode button right here. And if you don't know what the control center is, it's this little thing when you swipe up and on the later iPhones, you, are, you access the control center and on the iPad by swiping down from the top right hand corner. This is a bit of an older iPhone, so I still swipe up to get my control center. So now that I have that dark mode available, um, I can then flick that up and hit this button right here to enable dark mode. It says dark mode on. And you'll notice that when you go into any of the menus now, everything is all nice and uh, in that dark mode there. So all of the Apple apps and um, you know, like podcast, all the ones that come with the, the iPhone, will all be in dark mode and you can switch that on and off even within the apps. That's what it normally looks like, the podcasts, and then that's what it looks like with dark mode. Um, so you can also switch on dark mode on and off within the Facebook Messenger app. If I open the Facebook Messenger app, I can go to the top left hand corner and you'll see that there's actually a dark mode setting right there. So I can switch it on and off or I can select system. So it will select whatever I have uh, on the iPhone. So I'm just going to keep that on. I really like using dark mode uh, in all my devices. One other really handy tip is under the settings and um, under the display, uh, sorry, under the wallpaper, you can select that the dark appearance dims the wallpaper. So you can see that when I have my wallpaper in the background and I'll switch to dark mode, it makes the wallpaper behind, it makes everything a little bit darker, which is really nice on the eyes, especially if you're light sensitive. Now, when it comes to the actual Facebook iOS app, um, there is no easy way to um, enable dark mode. Well, there's no simple way rather because when I switch dark mode on, you'll see that it does not change uh, the Facebook app at all. So there is a little hack, a little workaround that we can use to enable dark mode. It's not ideal, but it does work, especially if you use Facebook all the time. We are going to go into settings and then we're actually going to scroll down and to uh, accessibility and then under accessibility we want to select display and text size and then under this menu we do have a smart invert and this will actually invert uh, everything um, smart invert reverses the colors of the display except for images uh, and then this is kind of a, a way of forcing dark mode upon the Facebook app. Now you'll notice that it's inverted all the images, so it looks really weird. So what I need to do is double click on my home button and get rid of the basically restart the Facebook app. And when I go back into it, all the images should be back to normal again. Let's see if we can find an image. There we go, you see, there's a nice doggo there with a pancake, with a Nutella pancakes, my goodness. 
Um, so that's how you do that. And then, um, so if you're going to be using Facebook for a while, you can have that smart invert on. I know it's not a true dark mode, but it is a kind of workaround. You can always go back and switch off that smart invert. So I hope you found that content useful, everybody. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate having you subscribers on board. And make sure if you do pop on that notifications bell, that will let you know when I put out new videos. Otherwise, I'll just get lost in the sands of time in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.